Hey guys, welcome to Repurpose My Way. This is Shelly. Glad you stopped by. Today I'm going to be doing a crackle paint technique on this project. This is a charger that I got from uh, the dollar store, I believe, and uh, some letters that I cut off a little um, piece of wood that I got from Michael's uh, from a haul I did a few weeks ago. So I just cut it off with a uh, just with a little saw and some of them came out, most of them came out okay. The F kind of came out a little bit short and you'll see as we get going, but it's not too bad. So first what I'm gonna do is spray paint the charger black with flat black spray paint from Rust-Oleum. So while that is drying, we are going to paint these letters that say family. Uh, we're gonna do a burgundy color and it is, um, made into chalk paint by some powder that I bought to make it into chalk paint. Um, and so we're just gonna cover these all around the edges and on the top. And I'm not too worried about getting full coverage. It's okay if I don't. This is basically going to be a primitive piece. So it doesn't matter if it's not full coverage. Um, I normally would just break it, would uh, sand it down anyway and distress it. So if I don't get full coverage on it, it's okay. Alright, I'm just hitting the charger that I spray painted with the Rust-Oleum Flat Black Spray Paint with the heat gun and just drying it up a little bit. It dries pretty quickly, but I'm just trying to hurry it along <laughs> just so I can work on this project. So I'm going to be taking some regular white glue and putting it in the middle of the charger. I didn't worry about spray painting the middle of the charger so much. Uh, because it's going to be covered with paint so I'm basically focused around the edges and um, didn't really worry about the middle so the size of your cracks are going to be determined by the thickness of your glue that you put on your piece if you want thin skinny pieces of or, or cracks I should say you want to put a thin coat of glue on your pro project. Uh, if you want big gaping cracks on it, you want to put more on there. Basically what you're doing is drying the paint once, it, this is the glue part, but once you go ahead and put your paint on top and you hit it with the dryer or you let it sit overnight, the paint dries faster than the glue does. So what happens is it splits it and makes the cracks. So it all depends on, like I said, the thickness of your glue and your paint that you put on, how big your cracks are going to be. Um, and then you can do a middle of the road. It all depends. What I'm putting on here is, eh, I'd say kind of a middle of the road. Um, amount of glue I guess when I go to put the paint on it's gonna be a little bit thicker um, and you don't want to do a lot of pushing around with your paint once you put it on it's kind of like when you do a second coat of chalk paint on you don't want to just keep going over it because it activates the dry uh, underneath part and turns it wet and then moves it around so basically what you want to do is put it on and try not to go over it too many times. But you want to get it spread out enough so that it will cover your piece and not be too, too thick. So here you see I'm using the Waverly chalk paint in white and I'm going over the middle of my charger where I just had put the glue. 
um, and as you can see I'm just trying to do just a couple swipes through I try not to do too many because all it does is just mix it up and push it around and I go up along the edges the best I can but I'm not real good at making straight lines with paint so I'll be going back through I'll show you how I kind of clean those up a little bit those jagged edges so I've done these projects for years and I just find plates for free and I find them at the thrift store or people give them to me and I'm gonna show you a couple that I've done in the past this is one that I have it says family it's got a little crack down in that lower right hand corner uh, live laugh love that one I've had for a long time and I just keep them around because um, I really like them I think they look really pretty so here you're gonna see where it starts to happen uh, I sped this up a little bit because it takes it a little while to dry but as you can see I'm gonna point to where it starts happening and you'll see once it starts it just keeps going and going and you can just start to see it spread open and the black underneath just shows right up underneath it's really cool it's a really cool technique I do want to add that you don't want to get that too close to your project as you're trying to dry it if you do it like this it will dry overnight if you just leave it uh, I'm just speeding it up for the sake of doing this uh, video for you guys and uh, I just love seeing it happen um, and when you use a dryer it happens pretty quickly but um, I just just be cautious about putting heat too close and holding it too close because it will bubble up it is paint so it will bubble up and it looks terrible if, if uh, that happens so just so you know Okay, so I'm going to work on the ribbon now, then I'm going to put down the middle of the project, um, or of the plate. Uh, I decided to take some of this ribbon, I had some bur wired burlap, and then I had that wired white ribbon that I got from Michaels recently, um, and I wanted to use it in something because I really like it, it's so pretty. Um, so I decided to put them together, and I thought that, that would make the letters of family the burgundy letters pop right off that charger um, so I'm just gluing them together and I'm making sure it's glued down well because I don't want those letters to be too heavy and fall over because this is going to stand up in a stand so I'm just putting it around the edges and stuff so that it sticks down really well
Okay, so here's where I talked about doing the technique to clean up my edges that I just am not very good at doing with paint. Um, I just took a permanent marker and I'm just going around the edges and taking off the the spots that stick out a little more. It's still not going to be perfect but it's okay because it's going to have the ribbon across it and uh, you're not going to be able to really you're not going to want to pick that all apart so it'll be fine. I don't think you'll be able to really see it. So I basically just go all the way around and it is a little bit of a different color. You can't really tell in the video but it is a little bit of a different color than my spray paint which I'm going to also fix that part too. Um, I like to use my uh, Rust-Oleum Clear Matte or Matte Clear spray paint. It's like a sealer. And I just sprayed that all over. I took it downstairs and sprayed it. And so it's all sealed up. So it's a little bit easier to clean and dust if you have to. So here I'm just gluing down that little banner, the family banner, on there. And then I decided I was going to make a little, um, not really a bow, but just kind of a finishing touch for the top with some of my favorite ribbon and just putting it all together. So I'm gluing that right on the top. And then I have this um, heart that I made a long time ago out of some material that I just had kicking around. Uh, and so I decided to put that on there as well. I'm just dovetailing these pieces of ribbon. Just trying to make them look a little bit nicer finished off. But you'll see the heart in just a minute. Um, I, sew I actually sewed this uh, and then put a little button and some twine in the middle of it. So here it is guys. Hope you like it.